time I gave a quick channel update, I've sold two cars and I've bought two cars. The first car I sold was the Honda CRX. It was actually my brother's car. He wasn't using that much. It was 150 bhp uh, B16A1. And it was just like a worse version of the EF because obviously you've got B18C4 turbo in the EF running 300 brakes. It was just like a slower version of that. He was barely using it. Um, so that had to go. And the second one was the uh, EJ9. So it's kind of EK hat shape. And that was a nice car, no rust, had everything for it in terms of the parts. I had a K20A2, I had a DC5 gearbox, but um, I was going to move house, so I had to let that go. It's a bit of a pity, but that's what I did. Um, now, two cars I bought, which you'll see in the thumbnail. Um, I'll show you them. This is the first one. So this uh, was a bit of a run around. Let's pop the bonnet. So you can see here, K24, um, standard car, but you know, why did I buy this? You might be asking, because I don't really want to roll around in this Accord as much as it's a fairly nice car. I bought it, so I've also bought this. Now this is kind of my favorite shape of Civic. It's the EG shape. Um, so of course that's the EF shape. This is EG shape and like I say, the silvery K shape I sold so why do I buy this because um, it's tin top for a start um, it's a base spec uh, model so it's only got like a 1.3 carb engine in it with the wind up windows and it's a uh, car I've wanted for a while I actually have had one of these before um, before I did the channel which is a silver one but that was actually in really bad shape so I didn't hold on for that for too long um interior it's got um ep3 seats and um, this one's in this one actually has got like one bolt holding it in so it's barely in it's got very low mileage it's got 42,000 miles obviously no rev gauge in this one manual gearbox um and then kind of stripped uh, rear interior which isn't the best thing i kind of prefer a car with full interior really and then just show you the under bonnet. Yeah, it's just got the 1.3, um, yeah, D13 uh, B2, so it's a carb engine, um, pretty standard under here. It's got power steering. Someone's tried to treat the rust, but you know, it's uh is what it is it runs actually very well oh, it stands up in a second um, but obviously that engine is not going to stay um, it came with these wheels which are the uh, kind of EK VTI uh, fan blade wheels but I've obviously put my buddy clubs on so they're the same as those just to see what it looked like I actually think it looks really nice on these buddy club P1s but what are my plans? Well, my plans are to uh, K24 uh, swap it. I've actually got a, a K20A2 head in the garage, um, and that would be kind of the rough plan uh, here. I've also got some other things up my sleeve as well. I'm even looking at another car tonight, but I don't know if I'm going to buy that or not. But um, yeah, that's kind of the rough plan here it hasn't got an MOT or anything on it um, it's still got drums on the rear um, so it needs a lot of work um, to make it into a decent car but it's always kind of been my favorite shape Civic and it not having the sunroof um, is a big plus for me to you know, make a, a lightweight version of one of these so just to show you how eager this uh, engine is I'll just wipe the key in and just show you so if I just roll the key forward, and that's <laughs> really how it just wants to go. So yeah, it's only 1.3, but yeah, the engine runs pretty well. Um, it's actually got quite a red, leery uh, um, exhaust on it, which is straight through, which obviously I wouldn't keep either. And the other thing I wanted to say was just about the bodywork. Um, the bodywork isn't really. Um, amazing it's been uh, resprayed but looks like it's been resprayed in a, in a big hurry um, the arches have been done so it's all solid 
but um, the thing is, uh, you know, it's it's not concourse or anything. We haven't got the original spot world, you know, obviously new metal there, and it's got things like lacquer peel here. Um, so not the best. And then this Accord, um, if you wanted to know, um, it is the executive with the, uh, well, not that that really works anymore, but to lift up uh, electric tailgate. Um, it's got the, the mats and all that stuff. Uh, this kind of half works. Uh, yeah, it's got the optional wheels as well, so I think they're gonna be quite rare. Um, it's got full uh, leather interior. Obviously, if you want any of this stuff, uh, let me know, I'm gonna be selling a lot of the parts from it. Um, and then it's got, you know, the big climate control screen and then, yeah, obviously leather in the front as well. But, uh, you know, let me know what you think about both cars and the project. If you like uh, this EG that I've bought or any recommendations or things that you would do or you've done in your car, I'd like to know. And obviously if you want any bits from that Accord. So yeah, that's the video and uh, you'll be seeing updates in the coming weeks.